just tell me how great it was to see the community come together. It was just overwhelming. There was so many people that was out to help. So many people that loved this little girl and had never laid eyes on her. And it, it was just unbelievable. We didn't know that that would happen, you know, that people would come out that way to help. Now, were you shocked that people from far away came to help? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes we were. Yeah. 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 And we're all so people, thankful. A lot of people brought food and stuff like that and, and tons of toys. <laughs> We searched the neighborhood when we couldn't find her in the house, then we went out the door and we, I walked up the street, three or four houses to the neighbors and talked to the neighbors and seen if they had seen her at all and we were just frantic. He searched yeah. the out buildings and, and uh, down by the ditch that couldn't find her anywhere. We called and called and called. She doesn't like the dark, and it was getting dark, and I kept telling her, it's getting dark, he come, come back to Grandma. Saturday, when it was raining so much and so cold, uh, I just couldn't see how she could make it through that. That was, that was terrible, would have been terrible if she had been out there in that. And, and when Friday night, when they run the helicopter back and forth so many times, and, and so, they covered the area very, very well, I thought. And I just couldn't understand why they didn't find her. Saturday, because of the rain, I think, they didn't run the helicopter with the thermal engine, Im imaging, but Sunday they run it again. <coughs> and uh, they still didn't find her. And by Sunday, I was afraid that she would have perished. Thank God for Victor. Yeah. And not get not giving up. Not giving up, God. and then being out there so God could lead him to her, because I'm sure God had a hand in this, finding her as good a condition she was in and everything. So we cried as hard then, and hugged as hard then as we did when she was missing. Your emotions are very close together between <laughs> fear and and happiness. I th I find you know it just. The reaction was the same. We all cried. <laughs> so it was so, so happy and yet almost afraid to believe. It was almost too good to believe that she had been found and she was all right. A friend was here with us all the time and uh, it's her other grandmother's boyfriend and he come out. He went out and heard them talking about it and he come in and he says, it's not confirmed, but she's been found. So we all stood there holding our breath, as you might say. And then they come back in and they said, she's alive. She's alive. And they had a picture of her on a cell phone where she was, had been picked up by Victor. Was, and wasn't that the lady FBI <laughs> It might, agents, it might have I been. Everything came, was such a fog in. at that time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but she was alive in. and she, in the picture she looked like she was okay. And that was yeah. <laughs> verification, and, verification and, and a reason to yeah. scream and yell and celebrate. <laughs> it was hard to believe because Truthfully, I had given up hope. It had been so long, I thought, it's not yeah. going to be a good outcome. But yeah. it was. I, I knew a fellow <laughs> that laid down out in the field because the police were waiting for him in his driveway. And they found him the next, uh, next day or the day after out in the field. And he was a full-grown man. And it was very similar conditions. I don't think it was raining. I think it was just the cold that did him in. And so... And she's so tiny, it just... <laughs> just a, a, a little body like this, the cold would absorb the heat right out of her and... and yeah. Yeah. I, was yeah. very, I was very concerned. You could look as far up the road as you could see and there was vehicles up the road, you know, and people and, and down the road as far as you could see and I thought, it was un unreal. She's back. She'll sit, get the boys down, and sit on them. And one thing and another. Now she's yeah. sissy's back, aren't you? <laughs> so her personality has come back. Her she's personality's come back. She she uh, goes in and to the bedroom at night with the boys and and sleeps without somebody sleeping with her right away. I can wait for a couple hours before I go in. So it's it's comforting <laughs> to be able to touch her, and it still brings tears to my eyes to know that. How close it was. Of now, do losing. you feel whole again? 
Like yes. all the pieces. All are. the pieces are back together. The puzzle is complete again. Well, yeah. except what really happened, you know why. Yeah. But um, <clears throat> yes, she's, she's back. <laughs> do you still have questions about what might have happened or do you not really want to know? I'm not sure I really want to know, but. You have her. It's, it's still she's under here. investigation, yeah, I think. There's nothing so, that we can. But they, they haven't told us anything, so. All we can do is wait and see. So. You have her, and that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Yep. She's she's here. She gives kisses, and <laughs> that's all that matters. <laughs> her brothers are happy to have her back. They fight with her just like they did before. And she she's she's not special. She's <laughs> to them. She just knock her down what they want to. You know. <laughs> Don't fret the little things in life. Wait for the big thing to come along. The little. Yeah. They're kids. They'll be kids. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know, we're so thankful that all the volu for all the volunteers that was out there. We can't thank them enough for, for we can't be for being there. We Just can't begin to name names because we don't know all of them, and we don't want to leave anybody out. So it's just everybody, everybody that had even a m minimal, a minute job part, in part helping in this, her. Yes. You know, a part in helping her come back. Yeah. I thank God and I thank them. None of them even had laid eyes on her, probably, and yet they cried along with us. Yeah. They loved her, too. Cannot begin to tell you how grateful we are. It's just, we are so grateful that everybody showed up to help and tried their, their best to find her, and to Victor, of course, for being the one that did find her. It just, I'd like to give him a big hug. <laughs> And when we heard uh, her other grandmother on the cell phone had the 911 call recording, that, and we heard that, and, and he asked permission to touch her so that if the investigators wanted to come and check around there, well, he wouldn't compromise the situation uh, so that they could have, but they said to go ahead and pick her up, so he did. And... We're I can't glad. imagine the feeling he felt finding her and then picking her up and holding her. It just, it'd almost be like holding one of your own, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. You were so determined to find her. Yeah. I think yeah. it's going to take me longer to recover from this than it is her because it, I'm still very emotional about it. It just, yeah. if, Even though if something had happened to her, I would have wanted to die right yeah. along with her. Yeah. We put extra locks on the doors, and, but still, if she gets out of her sight, she panics. <laughs> She knows she can't get out now. <laughs> I know, but it's still, it's just, where are you? <laughs> the fact that she, it happened on our watch, so to speak, you know. We, we were both here right in the house when she disappeared, and it just, you tend to blame yourself, even though you know she's a wonderer, you know. <laughs> You're a smart little cookie, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh-huh, she says. <laughs>